what's up guys welcome back to my channel i'm angel out here if this is your first time here and welcome to the video today i'm trying out the viral tiktok bright inner corner makeup trend this is a girl that originated this trend i believe everyone's like tagging her and giving her the credit so i will as well and I'll also leave her video linked down below she just does this very bright colorful inner corner she's also done like a really bright white inner corner like basically the section and on the bridge of her nose very bright and she's a darker complexion so it seems really stark on her but still stunning and a statement should i try that as well i don't know maybe let me know uh but i tried this out and i love it and it literally takes no time it's faster than you know a bronzy eye look like a man you have a bronzy eye look it's faster than that. it's faster than putting on a wing eyeliner if you're not that good at wings i'll also show you how i get the skin makeup all that step by step so yeah, if you're interested in this look something nice bold and fresh for the spring summer you know the deal you know the drill and you know the vibes let's get it okay let's get in i'm not gonna focus too much on like what this skin is doing but maybe a little bit this is the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base just you know because it was already in my makeup bag, so I'm using it again. Very nice hydrating luxe primer. Going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation in Natural Beige. Really nice full coverage foundation. Putting that on with my sponge. I'm going to go on with the Benefit Boy and Cakeless Concealer to start off. Just putting that all over. I get some to reverse contour. Blending that out with my sponge. I'm going to take this NARS Natural Radiant Creamy Concealer in Medium 1 Custard to really get this bright because this is the part where they put the cream, cream shadow same color, liquid shadow, whatever, like colored eye base. I know the girl used P. Louise. Um, I don't have anything like that, so unless I do brown, but merge. So I'm going to use the only like matte color I have in a shadow stick. This is ColourPop Wear Off Creamy Matte Shadow Stick. It's minty and I'm going to put this on I don't know how much but I just okay I mean it's giving so kind of going in like that this is fun do I blend this out did they blend it I'm gonna keep this to the side because I'm gonna use it as a liner later. Like a packing brush can help me smudge it out a little bit. The edges primarily. You know? I think tapping it is gonna help. If you had something creamier or liquid, it'd be a lot easier to blend, I feel like. But this works still. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. 
so I could retain as much intensity of the color as possible. I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 10. So messy. Very, very messy. Okay. And I'm going to start like the perimeter of my face just because that's what I'm feeling like doing. You hear nothing? Just crease. I'm going to take that powder on a big fluffy brush and start on the perimeter. Get the nose, get the cheeks. Oh, I wanted to do cream blush. Mother trucker. And I still am going to. Get my forehead. That was a lot of powder. I'm still going to do cream blush. Damn, I set the face though. I'm still going to do it. I don't care. I just got this in the mail and I want to use it. This is the Refi Cream Blush. Or, are they British? I have the shade Malaya. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. These are so tiny. I was shocked by how tiny they were. Um, like, look at my little NARS concealer. It's so little. But I got it for $10 off. Pretty color. I swatched it already. I'm going to take my cream blush brush, I think. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And it's going over the powder really nicely. So then I could set my under eyes. It says to set the shadow. So we're going to do that. I'm going to set my lids first. And then I'm not taking that much powder, even though I feel like they use a lot of powder. Because, again, this is a thick shadow, not a cream or liquid shadow, but it's set. There it is. It's set. And that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for joining. <laughs> um, let's get into bronzer. I'm going to use my Juvia's Plays Bronzing Duo. I'm using a lot of the same makeup I just used. My prom makeup look. Stamped. Oh, 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 oh. I feel like that looks a little muddy on that cream blush. I love bronzer. I need bronzer on my forehead. See how pale that is? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have another little bit of bronzer to use, the Kosas Cloud Set Powder in Comfy. I don't like the Kosas um, bronzers, bronzers. They feel like they're a little bit too glowy. I'm going to put some on my nose. And then look, I'm trying to look into the mirror. There's not a mirror. That's fine. No, no, it's fine. No, no, no. Really? It's fine. Oh, I had another blush. Why not? Leave Sunset Blush and Pesca. This peachy color, because you know peach and green, I think are really cute together. So I'm just gonna add this as well. That's why I like have the Vive highlight and Holy Chic. Mine's a little bit damaged. Whoa. You see that? Wow. Let's get into the EBH Dewy set. Okay. They need a better mist. They really do. They really, really do. I was just assaulted. I'm going to take my bronzer and throw that into my crease 
just because I feel like I need something in the crease in the outer corner and the lid kind of like everywhere so my eyelid looks so pale and I'm not feeling such a pale eyelid and the tiniest bit on the outer corner of my lash line not that much just so it's not like so light oh, I put a lot the pigmented bronzer let me tell you i want to take the highlighter for my brow bone then i could finish off the eyes oh, i love a brow bone highlight i do i really do well i could finish it off um i'm gonna take the huda beauty There's highlight everywhere. This is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. And I'm gonna use Haze. Oh, it needs to be. It's the perfect match to the shadow. And I'm assuming this just amplifies the color. And it did. Beautiful. Put this color also to my lash line this is really good to do if you have like the ColourPop color sticks or if you want to do this look i would recommend one of these color sticks because then you could use it as a perfect matching eyeliner cute i'm back um i put on just a regular tubing mascara so it's easy for me to um wash off and i put on Lunar beauty stella lashes which are stunning and i put on this color pop <laughs> i'm out of breath i had to close my window because there's a whole meeting going on outside with microphones and speakers all that but um i put on the color pop avatar collection sealed with a kiss fresh kiss glossy lip stain that on and I'm going to wipe it off <laughs> because I just want the stain I have to admit it kind of just looks the same okay I'm going to pop over then like do I want a nude lip let's do the nude lip and then if it doesn't work then it doesn't work you know I'm going in with El Maquillage Carly Bible Luna I can't get this but this is a dark brown liner i'm going in with the fenty stunna lip paint and unbutton i think that's what it is i like barely wear this i'm going in with the color pop robert e. christie gloss i'm like devastated that they didn't put the winnie the Pooh collection on ulta and i'm kind of just holding out to see if that does happen if i can get the lip care duo bundle and one of the glosses kind of living the greens aren't matching like my shirt and my eyelid don't match in this in like the shade of green which is kind of triggering but i like this look it's fun it's fresh very nice trend or like eyeshadow style for the spring and summer so you can get those really nice pops of color i think this will be really fun in like every single color the rainbow like nice, a nice hot pink i love to do a nice hot pink i'll probably stain my eye <laughs> but yeah i love this look i think it's really fun and fresh to do a nice little switch up from what you typically see with makeup nowadays and it's not too scary and it's really honestly not difficult really not difficult it might be hard if you don't have anything cream liquid or like stick the stick is still somewhat creamy um i would definitely recommend getting something like that a product like that even if you had a cream eyeliner It'll really help you to get a very punchy inner corner, which is really the goal, is it not? Um, 
you could probably even do it with a regular liner, like a ColourPop cream gel liner. Um, if you had certain colors, I might actually try that. But I don't think I really have very colorful eyeliners. Because <laughs> I just don't like a colorful waterline, typically. But I think it's so pretty, and I think it's pretty even if you didn't do false lashes or maybe if you did a half lash and I think it's still really pretty without any lip product on just probably a nice juicy lip gloss would be really pretty as well I think it's cute I haven't really tried any TikTok hype uh, makeup trends or hype makeup products really either but I saw this one I was like I think that's cute and it is will I actually wear this out somewhere I don't know perhaps but I don't know and I love these lashes these little beauty Stella lashes oh my god <gasps> so pretty okay that's it that's the end of this video why is my hair like so frizzy on this side all right and by the way by the way this look took me before like I did the lashes and everything, the look took me 25 minutes to do my base and the eye. That's like no time at all. So if you're in a crunch, like you're going to an event or a function, you're meeting your girls, whatever, and you just like you wanted to do an eye look, but you, you had no time at all. Uh, this is really good because you get this statement effects and the bold look without taking that much time, really it took no time but yeah that's the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys like this look and i hope you try it out for yourself even if you're just playing in makeup just try it out see how you feel about it take some pictures why not if you like this video hit the like button down below comment subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification if you're feeling froggy i post all the time if you like me and you like this video share it to a friend one friend all your friends instagram twitter I link all my social media down below. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And I hope to catch you in the next one.